Hi, John Balbano here. Welcome Professors Tiwari, Janatha Reddy, Talang, Yarabali, and I teach EE 319K, Introduction to Embedded Systems, to freshmen. At the end of the semester, we have a design competition, and who can make the most fun, interactive game? It has a Cortex M4 TM4C microcontroller, it has interrupts, it has sound, which is a DAC, it has a slide pot, which is ADC, and graphics. And the design is to make it the most fun to play. Let's watch. Hi, here's uh, Zombie Survival 3D. How does it work? So what we have is one microcontroller. We actually have two microcontrollers. We have one interface controller, which I'm holding, which handles all the I.O. So we have our LCD hooked up to this microcontroller, as well as all our analog and digital inputs. And connected through UART, it is connected to a main microcontroller that's doing all the physics and drawing calculations. We will present you with challenges such as completing their homework <laughs> or you know helping them out with a review. And so you enter battle. So the final goal of the game is you know to beat your finals. And um, so the hardest fight in the game is right here. And it's the professor. You ready to use your game? <laughs> And so you see this one, this one's level 10, and we only have two health left, so we're going to use some potions to heal um, damage against our health. So uh, we end up blacking out and wake up in the hospital, um, and then we can just continue on the game. So um, you just walk back outside, and you're set back to full health, and you can then uh, continue on with your game, you know, just go talking to people. And um, <laughs> go back on your way to... So the main goal of the game is to, again, beat that final, but since we're level one, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, but that's our game. Thank you. Next game is Mini Game Madness. Okay, so our game is Mini Game Madness. It's basically like WarioWare, if you've ever played that before. So it's seven mini games, and it's, you, yeah, you go through rounds, and each round of seven, it goes faster after the next round. So it shows you the high score per game, and it, as you go through, you'll see. Yeah. So and then it'll get really fast, and but it's the same game, so you get used to it. So it's not like too hard, and it's super fun because it's just like a bunch of reactions. <laughs> so yeah, this is this. He's like mashing the button right now to get to the safe, away from the zombie. Um, for this one, he has to avoid the cars. Oh. <laughs> or and not. Then, please, so he can't move? Oh, he moved. <laughs> and then, now it's going to speed up. So same games, but way faster. <laughs> so our game is Brick Breaker. Fairly straightforward. Most people have probably never seen it. Um, we have, I'm just going to give you a general layout. So we have six or seven types of bricks. Um, we have four different colors, five different colors. Purple, purple blue, red, orange, green. Um, each of those has like a different number of times you have to hit the brick. If you've ever played Brick Breaker, um, some bricks you have to hit once to delete them, sometimes you have to hit them more. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so what he has right now is what we call our fireball or red brick or red ball upgrade. Um, it's one of our superpowers in our game. When you acquire the red ball upgrade, which every level has one, it's the fire looking brick on the left side of the screen. Um, when you get that ball or get that brick, your ball becomes a red fireball and all the green bricks, which are the one hit bricks, you then uh, basically like you get penetration. So you like go through them and you destroy them and they like your ball doesn't bounce off of them. <laughs> you gotta stop playing because really addicted to this awesome game. You can pause it and resume. Oh, again? Um, there we go, there's some progress. Yeah. Um, you, go, you all are mesmerized by it. So our game is rhythm game like Dance Dance Revolution or Guitar Hero. We have six keys. Magical burst. Uh, girl power here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so what we have here is a two-player fighting game. 
So this is the intro screen. You just have to press the one any button to start it. And you have different rounds and the first person to three rounds wins. You have an attack button so you can kick. And you can also block and take less damage if the other person hits you. channel sound output, um, the 206-bit DAC, sounds pretty cool. If you can go back to... Uh, stop talking, let's play. Yeah. <laughs> so, we decided to be go and play the game. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, so now we got uh, fuel altitude score, X velocity, Y velocity. Uh, we have a zooming feature. Say it up next time. I'm gonna Easy. go ahead and crash real quick. Uh, <laughs> oh! I said right side up. Oh, and then uh, I so, guess so I'll one feature there. we have the abort landing. If you're about to crash, you can come down the abort landing, uh, and it'll rotate your ship up and fire straight up, and maybe try to land into the points. That's harder than it looks. This is based on the classic Asteroids game, but it's more fun. That's why it's plus plus, right? <laughs> so, we've, so yeah, we've got like a ship that shoots around, and there's a little Asteroids. And there should also, there's also like these homing enemies that will like fall in here. There's one. Oh. So we can try to get that. And whenever you kill an enemy, it spawns little points. So you collect the points to like increase your score. And as you collect more points, the game gets harder. The spawn rate of the enemies like increases, their velocity increases, and it just gets infinitely harder. You have bombs, so there's a button on the back. If you press it, the screen will flash and it'll kill everything on the screen. <laughs> nice. also, um, we also added haptic feedback since this game is pretty intense. Like you might not be able to like always watch out for like what's going on near your ship and what's going on up here. So whenever you collide with an enemy or use a bomb, like the thing will vibrate. We use that for uh, vibration. So it also vibrates when you use a bomb, and when you run out of bombs, uh, you'll see at the top the bombs will flash zero bombs, and it'll give you an error, like uh, buzz, buzz. I think the most frustrating yet simplest looking game possible. It looks really simple because this is level one. I, I assure you it gets exponentially harder. So your goal is to get that little smiley guy to the finish line without touching anything. Um, every level gets exponentially harder. We, are, we have hit detection that is to the pixel, so we don't use square hitboxes. Um, that, that, um, that thing in the corner is a portal. You can't see the colors, but they're color coded. So you press the button while you're on the portal and it'll teleport you to the corresponding por portal of the same color. Um, each level, again, does get really hard. You see that little button? That button will open that door of the same color and activate a booby trap. <laughs> um, that, that, um, that, that little, the thing with a frowny face is actually a turret. So it actually periodically fires bullets at you that do, that do, um, that do chase you. Um, here, here, here. Huh? Um, nice level. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it does get quite difficult. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the turret, the turret does aim for you, so you have to avoid his bullets as well. Um, we have, we have nine levels programmed in. Um, we, uh, um, this is probably the most fun level. <laughs> it's a lot more difficult than it looks. It gets really hard. <laughs> oh, look at all those. <laughs> Quite confusing, especially, oh, we also have a flashing box, of course. But um, we do use periodic, uh, very periodic, uh, periodic 
um, oh. object. So it actually is, for, it, you can run it forever and it'll always, um, it'll always stay the same. Uh, and there's actually no randomness whatsoever. Um, physics are actually a bit quite uh, confusing because you'll notice that the smiling guy does not stop immediately when you release the joystick. There's actually friction and acceleration. So we're both playing. Just most <coughs> out classic Space Invaders. Ooh. And the shooting is randomized, and we have these things, these power-ups, so <laughs> we go through there. And if you get caught in the crossfire, you basically die. Right. And the other guy's lasers can go through too and subtract from your lives. After that, you just, it's an onslaught mode, so we just keep on going until we die. And here I die. You guys might see that like every time um, Fred presses a button, then my screen also changes. Um, it basically, you have one player run, player one who's the dominant player, and every, uh, player two just follows him. All right, so it always checks you out for uh, those actions. Um, so there's two power-ups. Uh, one of them is the Hadoken that you've seen. Uh, it's the blue one. Uh, the other one is the red one, which gives you a life and also ups your firing speed. 